All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm actually going to harvest moringa leaves and turn the moringa leaves into a powder. We all know the benefits of moringa. All right, so let's. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is simply to harvest a bunch of moringa stalks with the leaves and maybe about one to two pounds. I always look for more mature, rich, green looking leaves. Uh, sanitize a basin, a pan, a bowl, or any vessel that you could use to wash the leaves. Sprinkle a few tablespoons of baking soda in the water. Uh, this will help to clean the dust and other impurities of the moringa leaves. Alright, next you're going to shake the excess water off the leaves. Tie the ends of the stalk together, hang them upside down in an enclosed place that doesn't get direct sunlight, you know, and this will help to preserve even more of the nutrients in the leaves. Leave the leaves hanging for at least three to four days until they brittle to touch. Meaning once you touch the leaves, they start falling off. Our next step, you're going to separate the leaves from the stalks and the stem. The fewer stems there are, the smoother the powder will be. Our next step, you can use a blender to grind the moringa leaves into a powder form. I use my Nutri Bullet or my Ninja Bullet. I use both. I normally run the blender for maybe 30 to 45 seconds until I achieve the desired texture, which is a real powdery form. Uh, keep the moringa powder in an airtight container to preserve the nutrients. Store it in a cool dry place. Keep the container closed at all times to keep the moisture out and to preserve a longer shelf life. The powder is said to last up to 6 months without preservatives. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, remember to share, like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.